Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be watching episode 13 of Jutsu Kaisen season 2. And for those of you eagerly awaiting it on my channel, I do apologize from the bottom of my heart. There's been a lot of changes in my life lately, as well as myself caring for a member of the family, dealing with thousands of boxes ready to unpack. Full time work and YouTube. Past few weeks I spent on catching up on some of the series that I have finished, some of them are still ongoing. And I also wanted to prepare better for the Jujutsu Kaisen, as a couple of you mentioned in the comments that I was missing some names here and there, and I fully agree with you. On top of that, guilty as charged, I have not read the manga, so I don't know what is happening. Time to get on top of the things and bring you the best content. As you have probably noticed, I've got better lighting. I no longer have to do, rely on the winter short daylight. I've got amazing set of two studio lights, which I have gotten thanks to my Patreons. Thank you so much. Hopefully that will up the video quality and make it look a bit more professional. And today's look is inspired by the baby metal. <laughs> But without further ado, let's get on with the episode. Bumping the like button really helps my channel grow as I put a lot of time and effort into it. So if you like it, leave, comment, like, and if you like to hear more from me again, subscribe. It's entirely up to you, but it means a lot to me. Thanks. <gasps> oh man, this shit is brutal. It's just getting more and more brutal here. But he can't take care of every single one of them. He's not that kind of sorcerer. I'm going just to say he's just up there, but like... Yay! I missed that guy I have not seen him for ages. Oh, it's so great. I love his powers, just great. Fantastic. I suppose if he was to use his power to tell them to explode, it would probably explode his his throat as well because this power uses so much of his strength. The things I'm looking forward to in this episode, as we know from the previous episode, Itadori meeting Chozo, big fight, which I think Yuji's gonna smash because he's just getting stronger and stronger, doesn't he? And oi oi and Mei Mei. Oh, we've not seen that yet, have we? Hachiko Square! Oh, it's so close! My god, if I go to Japan, I must go to Hachiko Square. It's getting there. It's getting closer. It's like, oh, I don't care. As soon as Itadori Yuji appears. That's right! Oh my god. What is his power? Plot manipulation convergence. Wow. I mean, I hope he cannot use other person's blood to make it explode within their body. All right, it's doing something else. Whew. Oh my, this this thing is lethal like a laser. Jesus, piercing blood has <laughs> as well be a blood laser. Jesus. O M G. I'm glad that Yuji was able to get closer. <laughs> Yours is older. <laughs> Might as well be a vampire, might even look like one. <gasps> oh no, there's an actual hole in Yuji's hand. Man, that is bad. Like, I think he's a definitely tough opponent. Chozo and... Oh, so there was like a... Family grudge, my god. I kind of remember the guy, but Yuji doesn't. No, he does. That's not something you should say to Chozo about his own brother, that they are both a curse. And his brother is obviously dead. Ooh, that gives me chills. He's like a proper villain, Chozo. Look at that. That traps Yuji. How can Yuji even like defend from this technique? Wow! This animation, this action! Unbelievable! Mappa Studio, well done! Poor Yuji. Gosh, Chozo is good at martial arts, I think, as well. It's not just the blood manipulation technique. It's the whole movement. Like, how can Yuji win against him? I hope you won't have to call Sukuna for it. I thought he would be an easier opponent, but he is not. That Chosen looks so badass. I'm sorry, I know he is a curse user, but he looks so good. <laughs> wow. 
This is insane. It's like a lasso slash laser slash blood. Oh my god. He's so good. He's not only that. God. Look at this stance. Oh, the floating of his sleeves. Amazing. I mean, it's great. Honestly, it's fantastically animated. And the lights, the colors. Loved it. <gasps> oh no, he's got another hole in his body. That is bad. Mechamaru. Perhaps he has some clue or um, an idea how to defeat Chosa without bleeding out, let's be honest. <gasps> no. Oh, OMG. Close, mid, and long range. And Chozo knows some martial arts. He's so fast and he's angry. Oh my god, he's like <laughs> proper angry. I don't think a power of friendship will work here. Not that they are using it here as much, as such, kind of. So there is a tiny percent chance that their plan might work. I suppose it's better than nothing. <gasps> wow. I like his voice. Charles' voice is cool as well. So he wants to use water pressure? I'm not sure. Or making like a sprinkler fountain. Wouldn't it be better to like stick a lighter underneath the um, sprinkles to activate uh, when they smell smoke or fire? Maybe sprinkles aren't enough. <laughs> yeah, no, they are. Oh, he's done that as well. Wow. <gasps> Mechamaru. No, he destroyed him. Oh no, Mechamaru. Get him. You get him. No. It's the last part of Mechamaru. Don't. Ah! Mm. You villain, you. <gasps> Oh, he could not maintain the pressure when the water sprinkles are falling onto it. That's the, that was the plan. That's great. Right. That makes that makes sense. This anime is genius. Like half of the things I'm struggling to understand are so good. Mechamaru is the best. Man, I hope there is another Mechamaru device. After all, he needs to talk to his love and say goodbye. No, he has more techniques. Perhaps Yuji will be actually able to use it to his advantage if he plays the cards right. I'm surprised Yuji is in a red shade color for villains and chose up the villain that we love is in a blue color. Man, Chozo is so good at fight, and Yuji as well. I mean, look at how well he's handling Chozo. Mama, I have said that too early. Man, I love the animation. <gasps> he didn't just bite him. Wow. And the headbutt. Woo! Amazing. Yes, you can. <gasps> Third hole in his body and in his liver. Jeez. Oh my god, Yuji. That's right, think of your friends. Use the power of friends, please. I'm sorry, I like you, Chozo, but you can't win. You're the bad guy. Oh, so he's not invincible, thank God. Yuji is really strong, so I'm glad that he did take some impact and... Come on, Yuji, you got this! <gasps> oh my God, he was so close! No, no, no. <gasps> oh, God, I was, I was worried for a moment that he meant to explode it. Because <laughs> that would take Yuji's Popeyes. It kind of did, didn't it? 
Bloody blood, Wolverine! What is going on? My God, Yuji is barely stands. He can barely see. He's losing his blood, and he's still standing. He's still fighting. This guy is amazing. Chozo, on the other hand, has taken some really bad beating as well, and he's doing his best. Go for it! Go for it! Metal? Oh my god! He's not gonna get up after this. <gasps> A crystallized blood? Fuck. How was he fighting it? Chozo is so good. Oh my god, he's dying. He's breathing. He's going to deliver the final blow. Oh my god. Sukuna. Oh my god, I'm not I'm not happy about seeing Sukuna, but honestly, whatever saves Yuji. I wonder what is I wonder what is it that Sukuna did to him? It must be some sort of mental attack. Memories for the chosen mind. Okay, so illusion, forced memory manipulation. So the memories of him eating a spaghetti. Okay. Is that his brother? And you to eat him with them? What, what's going on? Something like this would never have happened, so that's like a forced memory manipulation. Look at those curses in jars. Oh my god. Brother, so I'm guessing Sukuna may choose a thing that Yuji is his brother, so he can kill him to save Yuji and ultimately save Sukuna. So it didn't even bother to like come out, take over Yuji's body. That is definitely dying. He just used an illusion technique that he must have known that Chozo was not ready for that, and that was his weakness. It just shows how amazing Sukona is and really scary. The ways he can take over bodies and it's unbelievable. I love how the screen just closed the curtain on him. I was not expecting that Chozo is so powerful, skilled both in his blood technique, but also in a close combat. On the other hand, I am honestly very positively surprised that Yuji has was, was was being able to take so many blows and survived until the end when he thought it was being he thought that he, out, he outsmarted Chozo but unfortunately it was Chozo who had a backup plan for anything happening and totally won this battle until thankfully although like I said I'm not fully happy but thankfully Sukuna l extended his help to Yuji He's got to take care of his vessel. If Yuji is losing control over his body, does it mean that Sukuna will take over his body to heal him from this condition? But can he? I think Yuji would have to be fed one of those fingers for that to happen. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... Big shout out and massive thank you to my amazing Patreon, Isaac, for supporting my channel as a Shogun member. Thank you to the rest of my Patreons, those of you who comment under my posts, and anyone else who contributed to the growth of my channel. Thank you for watching this episode with me. And if you are interested to gain an early access to my videos in full opacity and uncut length, check out my link down below leading to Patreon page, where you can find over 65 videos of your favorite episodes. And for just two dollars you can join my Patreon family. Wishing you the best day, stay awesome and see you in my next video. Bye!